Good morning. Welcome to our Cliff Quarantine Reset devotional series, day six. You know, as we seek to be grounded in faith and let the Spirit continue His work in our hearts, I know that it's not always an easy task, especially when things can seem so depressing. And I know that these days can seem like Groundhog Day sometimes, where everything just keeps repeating over and over again. And it can feel like school just keeps going on forever and homework never ends. And it can feel like nothing new is ever ha happening or there's nothing exciting to look forward to. And I get it. The teacher in Ecclesiastes, the, the writer, he seems to be feeling the same way. And in chapter 1, 1 through 11 that we read the other day, the writer was talking about the repetitiveness of life and how a person's hard work doesn't ever seem to add up to very much in the long run. He says everything is meaningless. Now, I can definitely feel that way sometimes, but there is hope in Christ and God's Word. Let's pray. God, I pray that you would guide us this morning as we study your word. Use your word to speak truth into our lives and speak hope. Even in this, uh, what can seem like a depressing book of Ecclesiastes, Lord, I, I pray that you would guide our time, speak through me and speak into our hearts, and may it be a fruitful time. And then help our faith to grow throughout our day and help us to keep our hope in you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So our natural inclination as humans is to seek truth and seek meaning, try to find the meaning in life. That's just comes natural to us. And so the teacher here in Ecclesiastes is not unlike everyone else. And so he's looking for truth and meaning also. And so throughout our study of the book of Ecclesiastes, you're going to find him looking for it in all sorts of different ways. And so in our reading this morning, you'll see the first area of life where he looks for meaning and truth. And so you're going to be adding some thoughts into your big picture pages in your journal. And in a moment, I want you to pause the video, do the reading, answer the questions in your journal, and then join us back here uh, for our conclusion of our morning devo. Welcome back. Maybe you have been under the impression that if you studied hard enough, read enough books, listened to enough uh, famous speakers or philosophers, or pursued the best college degree, I don't know, that maybe you could find all the answers that you were looking for, that you hoped for. And I pray that you would have enough humility to know that the greatest wisdom comes from God. So as the teacher vents about his frustrations, he seems to say that all of this negative stuff, all of his frustrations, really find their source in God. And so we, re we read through Genesis 3 the other day. My question to you is, whose fault really is it that things aren't better off? You know, who who's the one or who are the people that rejected the maker's instructions for life? So then you might be saying, well, if this is the lot, that we're subject to, is there any hope? You know, if if because of Adam and Eve's sin, we're stuck in this sinful world and now we sin and we're stuck and so, you know, we're really just, the frustrations in life are due to our, it's our own consequence, then is there any hope? And the answer is yes, only by the grace of God. So the Bible is honestly, God's story of hope. It's his story of how he brings us hope through Jesus despite humanity's sin, despite humanity's rejection 
of its creator, its rebellion against its creator. So it's all about solving the problem from Genesis 3. That's what it's all about. So there's hope. But the thing is, human wisdom and intellectualism, it can be an idol for many people, but it's not the answer. So you, you see for Solomon or the teacher in Ecclesiastes, wisdom and knowledge and the pursuit of intellectualism and study, that's where Solomon thought maybe I could find the answers I need. And it's not there. It doesn't fulfill. It doesn't satisfy. And for many, it just ends up being an idol that takes a higher priority than God. So before you turn off the video uh, this morning, I want you to follow the final instructions on the next slide and finish off with prayer. And I encourage you to take joy in God's wisdom. In God's wisdom alone, not worldly wisdom. Have a great day.